Hey guys, the void from Tennis House. I want to point out a very important play, and that's when the ball lands short in the service box area or around the tee area. And that happens not just in junior tennis, and as well as recreational tennis. What do players do wrong when the ball lands short in this moment? Take a second. Yes, they over hit this short ball. So the problem is the distance you have when you hit a rally ball is marked here by the yellow line. And when you're closer to the net, the distance is shorter you hit the ball. So make sure you train to hit the ball inside the court, the ball on the baseline and behind the court in the defensive position. So you're able to control that ball. So what I see too often is that the player in this scenario just overhits the ball and it goes out. So this is the perfect play for you to have. So you setting your point up to go either inside in or inside out. And my tip is hit 70% pace on that ball because you want to set up your next shot which is the volley and you want to put the volley away if you go for a winner here you most likely gonna go for too much unless you're a professional player or you play on a tour or you're like a really really good player but too often players overhead in the scenario so what is another great option to do right now and that is the drop shot. So when you look at me right here, look how far the player is behind the baseline. So now why not hitting a drop shot if the player has to run like 10, 10 to 12 yards forward? That's a long distance to cover. And as you see now, I'm looking like I'm going to hit the ball inside in or inside out. And now I'm changing the grip in my hands and I drop this ball short and the ball is pretty high but it's placed well to the side and the player cannot get to it because the player was standing way too far back there and pay attention when i hit the drop shot my body weight and my momentum goes forward this is important when you disguise it and you hit the drop shot too many players now hit this ball out of the arm you need to make sure that you step forward and step in. So I, I knew here I'm going to win this point, so I didn't close in. So when you hit a drop shot, I should have closed in in that direction where the ball is. You always close in in the direction where the ball is, and then I could have volleyed it away if the player hits it back there. Or in this moment right here, if I turn my body a little bit more around, I can hit a drop shot over there as well, and then I have to close in in that direction as well. So recap right now do not hit this short ball hard and over hit this ball play a high percentage with 70 percent go on either side of the court or hit a drop shot so you have two options you can choose choose it wisely and i hope you're going to win more points playing smarter tennis on the court